All right, guys, it's Friday. Where have I been? Everyone's been asking. Well, we've kind of sort of run into a camera dilemma. Dilemma. As you can tell, we get a little bit of a different video quality going again. Yeah. Well, uh, what day was it? Tuesday. Made Tuesday's video. I uh, ripped apart that Yamaha quad there. And, uh, well, yeah. Dropped the camera. Dropped the camera enough to bend the, uh, the little lens scoptical thing. And, um, it stopped recording and, well, it just will not record any videos now. It takes a picture fine, but it just will not record. So, we got some problems there. Not just the camera I'm talking, I'm talking about that Yamaha quad. We'll get to that in about a minute. We'll also get to this cross in about a minute, too. So, uh, yeah. Camera's broken. Got to go to Best Buy tonight. Hopefully they can uh, fix it, get her back to me pretty soon. Uh, I really actually need that camera. Actually, I might not be able to bring that camera to Best Buy yet. Because I'm actually going to need to use it. So I'm sure they're going to want to take it, fix it, and then ship it back to me or something like that. So, I probably won't be able to do that until Monday. Uh, Sunday, I got to do some stuff on eBay. got to take some photos and stuff. Stuff starting to pile up. I got to get rid of some stuff. Uh, so there's that problem. Next up, so, you probably ask yourself, why can't I just use this camera? I haven't been using this camera. Well, this camera also is broken. Um, I had to do a little bit of fixings with it to get the shattered glass out of the lens. And, uh, seems to be doing a little better now. Just gonna clean it every now and then and it seems to work pretty good. I was away on third. no, it wasn't Thursday. It was, I was away Wednesday, a little bit yesterday. So didn't really do much we just got this craftsman tractor in um, Dwayne dropped it off Wednesday uh, it's a 98 uh, no 98 or 99 98 craftsman LT1000 you know the basic shit here so we're gonna get this thing uh, somewhat buttoned up here I actually just finished doing the carburetor I just got finished putting the housings and stuff on it and it should be good there I uh, actually just remind myself I got to put this guy back in as well. No big deal there. It runs. It just needs some basic servicing. We're hoping to get about 400 for it. So we'll have to wait and see there. Might get it. Might not. I don't know. It's a pretty decent tractor. Pretty clean. Uh, we had a few other tractors that were on the list of things that we were going to do. And then we decided not to do. Uh, one was a Toro tractor. Older style Toro wheel horse. Not like my wheel horse 500. Like a 98 wheel horse type deal. Um, there's a John Deere 180. Uh, we're debating whether or not we're going to chop it up or just sell it the way it is. Um, it's decent looking. It's nothing too special. It's got a Kawasaki 18 horse in it. Um, you know, just the basic shit. There's that. An Aaron's uh, rear engine rider. Uh, that was made in 1963. The thing was pretty damn old. It wasn't anything special, really. So that's just going to get, I think, put up on the auction block there. For the third time in a row, Dwayne's come by with a wrong gasket, so I have to order a new gasket for that push mower. Uh, time to get to the quad, the ATV. Well, we've ran into some slight technical difficulties with that thing. Um, yeah. Right now, it's disassembled. Uh, and it wasn't easy. Every single nut and bolt on that thing is stripped to pieces. Um, then what happened, took the carb off, cleaned the carburetor, and uh, stuck it back on. Carburetor needs a lot of work. Um, it sounded like the thing was stuck on choke, didn't want to come off choke, um, so that's why I got it over here, ripped apart the way it is. I'm right now into that thing three hours and ten minutes so far. Uh, and we've already still got lots of problems left to do on here. Uh, so if anyone wants to help out, maybe give me a hint or two on how to get this uh, float off. That would be excellent. Uh, usually it's just, you know, the little pin will pop off and it'll come off. But this pin is either stuck in there or there's going to be a specific way on how to do it. So if anyone knows how to take that float off, let me know. Usually it's just that one little pin there and the pin there and that just slides out. This one don't slide out. Also, my uncle has to come down from New Hampshire to get this one jet out. There's a jet stuck in right there. Um, so that's stuck. 
So we're doing pretty good. There's a new kit right there. I already ordered it up. Came in today actually. Um, so yeah, quite quite the quite the ordeal. We'll put it that way. Lots of lots of problems I've been noticing. So we're gonna get this thing hopefully buttoned up soon. Hopefully get her out of here by the end of the week or end of next week anyway. But I don't think that's gonna happen. That thing is just a hurting. I can tell you that much. Uh, what else we've been going on? We're supposed to get an 04 Ford Explorer in. Uh, this week I have not had time to work on it so I think maybe next week or the week after we'll get that in so we can do the uh, roof on it. We'll be painting a roof. Um, also as you can see the Articat Sabercat is out of here. As you can tell it's actually in the trailer and that took a shitload of work to get in there. Uh, it was not the simplest thing. I first backed it in. That took about a couple of minutes to do. Wasn't easy that way. It didn't fit. So we gave her a shot this way and it just barely fits. Like, we're talking, I can't even slip my finger into where that door closes. So, yeah. Also, this thing actually does have to go into an Urticat dealership. Uh, I'm just actually waiting for the phone call back to find out what the full ordeal is. Um, I was doing a little bit of research on it a few days ago. And this thing has a numerous amount of recalls on it um, that are not been up to date. So this thing possibly might have to go to the Urticat dealership. As long as the VIN number checks out, I don't have to bring it in if the Articat dealership says, yep, this one of the VIN numbers that say uh, stuff has to get replaced on, it has to get replaced. Uh, one of them is actually the whole entire gas tank shroud. Uh, I guess one of the nipples like to break off on it, and there's a few other things, the gas tank, the oil tank, um, and a couple of other things, something with the bogey wheel, and I don't, I'm not really sure, guys, but I guess there's a lot of stuff going on with them. So, we're going to get it checked out. I'm just waiting for the phone call. I don't think I've received the phone call yet. Let me check. Nope. So, if I don't get a phone call today, I'll just give him a call tomorrow. I actually just got done replacing the Dodge, man, Dodge minivan window. Body there. Swapped her out. We're good to go. So, this guy here can actually go to the back of the shop for a couple of days anyway. And, uh, yeah. Haul her off to the scrap here, maybe stick her in a dishwasher or something. What else we got going on? I think that's about it. Um, picked up the air and zero turn, that's sitting outside there. Uh, couldn't find anything wrong with it. I looked over it a bit today. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. The only thing I noticed was it needs a new drive, uh, not a new drive belt, a new uh, mower deck belt, but I'm just gonna sell it the way it is and uh, retrieve some money back on it. So. If is on the market again for another zero turn, let me know because I got one that I'm willing to sell for short money, which is $600 short. Oh, yeah. So, I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. I figured this was just going to be a quick little update video. And, uh, yeah. See you then.